They're always doing weird things. That's true. That's true. <sighs> I only speak the truth, except when I lie. Hey everybody, Brandon Swanson here alongside my partner, Sean Anderson, and we are doing previews for week three in the NFL, and you've already seen the Texans and the Patriots, and now we're bringing you the Arizona Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills that is going to kick off the previews that Sean and I are going to be doing, and Sean, are the Buffalo Bills in big trouble? Probably. I don't want to say yes because Rex Ryan has proven that he can get a team somewhere. I mean, it's been, what, five years since he's done that, but he has proven that he can get him somewhere. And Rob Ryan's pretty much proven that he is a terrible defensive coordinator, and they just fired their offensive coordinator. So they're going to the road of disaster, pretty much. I think I think they're on the road and getting close to pretty much failing. Uh, and it's already week three, so I mean they're they're on good score course. And I think that uh, Rex Ryan is just pushing himself. Him and his brother are digging this uh, this nice grave for himself to get off that Schneid. Sure, though, sounds nice. It does. Uh, but to get off that Schneid, I think it's just really. I, I, I think it's probably to kind of replicate what the Patriots did in week one, where you have to be efficient with your throws and you just have to try to neutralize David Johnson's speed as much as possible. They, 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 the Patriots didn't shut down David Johnson in week one, but they did take away most of the running game for the Arizona Cardinals in week one. So I think what they really need to do is just try to replicate exactly what the Patriots did. And that's going to be difficult because you don't have the same Patriots team and you're obviously a worse team than the Patriots and you don't have Bill Belichick on your side. So that's definitely a, a problem there. For the Arizona Cardinals, it's just do what you did last week. I mean, forcing Jameis Winston to throw four picks. Obviously, if you do that to Tyrod Taylor, that's just going to be a huge boost towards your side. And if the Arizona Cardinals are able to throw the ball down the field to Larry Fitzgerald, to Brown, to Michael Floyd, it's just it's going to be a, a destroying from the Arizona Cardinals. I think Buffalo proved that they could hang in with teams. Uh, they were cl- the, the game against the Jets were cl- was close, but I think I think ultimately I think Arizona is the better team. I think they're one of the best teams in the NFC, and I will take the Cardinals thirty one to twenty four. Certainly makes sense. I, at first, for a minute there, I thought you were going to go with Buffalo. No, but, I'm not uh, stupid. No, no, no. I, 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 Sorry, I, I, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I was hoping not. Well, folks, make sure you comment down below in the comment section. Let Sean know what you think of his prediction. He's taken the Cardinals 31 to 24. And if you're not on the bandwagon with him, well, then it's probably Rex Ryan who's uh, not on the bandwagon. And you're probably just dumb. Yeah. I mean, no Rex offense. Ryan is pretty dumb. So yeah. So. There you go. But make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to MVP. If you are not already a subscriber, make sure that if you absolutely love what we are doing here at MVP, you go be a patron. Become a patron at our Patreon page. Give us a little bit extra. We give you a lot a bit extra. And you're just going to have to find out what that is. So go be a patron at our Patreon page. And keep it right here on MVP. We've got more NFL previews for week three coming right at you.